Welcome to Children's Worship, friends. We are so excited that you are here to sing and dance and to learn about Jesus today. Today our song is called I Believe in Jesus. So I hope that you'll stand up wherever you are and sing and dance with me. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given, you love me, you love me, so I live forever. You save me, you save me, you made a way for me. You came to set me free. I believe in Jesus, I believe He came to save Jesus Christ I will trust in Jesus I will live to follow Him I will trust in Jesus Christ You came from heaven You loved me, you loved me Gave up all you had You saved me, you saved me Feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. this week comes from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. It says, so do not fear for I am with you. We love that verse. Well, let's add some emotions to that. First, we're going to put an X and we're going to say do not. So do not fear. Put your hand in front of your, your face for I am with you. Isaiah 41 10. Let's try that again. So do not fear, for I am with you, Isaiah 41, 10. Okay, let's do it one more time, and I want to hear you this time. Ready? So, do not fear, for I am with you, Isaiah 41, 10. Great job. All right, well, let's settle down so we can watch our Bible video next. Slapstick Theater, Lydia. This is Lydia, Hello. who worshipped God and was a dealer in purple cloth. One day, Lydia was with a group of women by a river. Oh, hey! Paul and Silas came and started speaking to the women. As she listened to them, 
God helped her to understand and believe in what they were saying. Oh, wow! She and her whole household were baptized. Lydia asked Paul and Silas to come and stay in her home. Okay. Paul and Silas stayed with Lydia many times as she always opened her home to them. Our video was so awesome today. I want us to talk about a man named Paul. Now we talked about him just a little bit in the previous worship service. He was an apostle. He followed Jesus. What else do you remember about Paul? Probably the most important story that we learned about Paul was that he was not a very nice man. And that was back when he was named Saul. And so he was on the road to Damascus and he was blinded and he couldn't see and God converted him. Yep, Jesus converted him and said, you're no longer going to be Saul. You're no longer going to be mean. You're going to be named Paul and you're going to spread my gospel. What is the gospel? We're going to find out today. So Paul is walking around. This man traveled so much. He was in all kinds of cities. He wrote all kinds of letters. He was a true follower of Jesus Christ. He loved Jesus. He was going to do right. Well, this time he rolled into another city called Macedonia. And as he's there, he comes upon a group of ladies and they're all observing the Sabbath, right? And there's this one lady in particular, her name is Lydia. And Lydia had a good job. Her job was to sell purple cloth, just like this. Look how beautiful that cloth is. It's so pretty and shiny, right? I'm gonna put it on because I really like it, right? Now, this was really hard to get because you had to dye the cloth purple. How would you find purple dye back in Bible times? Well, guess what? I found out it's seashells. Some seashells, have little purple on the inside. I know you've seen these shells where everything is purple. And that's why it was so expensive because it took so many of these little shells to make some dye to create this beautiful purple cloth. She was rich. She had money. Purple is a sign of royalty, right? See, I remembered you knew that. And they were talking to Paul and they realized, especially Lydia, that Paul was talking about Jesus and how important it was for him to follow and for them to be disciples and to be Jesus followers. She got so excited that she insisted that Paul baptize her. And not only did he baptize her, she got her whole family involved and they came down and Paul baptized them. After that, she went out and spread the good news of Jesus Christ to everyone that she knew. We don't really know what happened after besides being a follower of Jesus. Her story ends in this part of the Bible. But we know for sure that this lady who made this beautiful purple cloth became a follower, just like you. Sometimes we shouldn't hesitate to obey God. Sometimes we should just hear words and get excited about it like Lydia did because she was really ready to be a Jesus person. We might miss an opportunity. She could have been sitting on the side of the road, not interested in anything that Paul was saying, but God placed a beautiful thing in her heart where she knew that that's what her job was gonna be. 
And I bet she kept selling her beautiful purple cloth. But she also told the story of Jesus and the gospel that she spread to everybody else. Are you going to spread the gospel? Are you going to spread the truth? Are you going to spread the love of Jesus? Of course you are, because I know that you are a great Jesus people. Let's pray today. Ready? Pray. Dear God, thank you for working in our lives. Help us to pay attention to how we can serve you in all that we do and to share the good news of Jesus with everyone we meet. Amen. All right, I'll see you next time. Okay, today's science experiment is going to be so much fun, but I am well prepared with safety measures to do this, okay? So don't do this at home unless you and mom decide that it's safe to do, okay? So let's see what we need. We need baking soda and vinegar and water and a plastic bag and a napkin and a bowl, okay? So I'm gonna take three tablespoons of baking soda now I'm going to put it on my paper towel. And today we're talking about one. This is a lot. We're talking about um, God speaking to us, right? And sometimes God speaks to us very loudly and clearly, but that doesn't always happen either. Sometimes we have to really search for what God is saying to us. So after I fold up my paper towel. We're gonna leave it folded until I put it in the thing, okay? So, take your Ziploc bag and open it up and put your vinegar inside. This is 3 fourths cup of vinegar. And now I'm gonna measure out a fourth cup of warm water. That's a little bit too much, so we're gonna pour just a bit is that good? Okay, so then we pour it into our bag and we're hoping something happens, okay? We don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna take a little step back after I put this paper towel into the Ziploc bag, okay? And I'm gonna close it really quickly and see what happens, okay? I wanna tell you before, though, that sometimes God speaks to us in a big kaboom like we might see in a little bit, but he doesn't always either, and that's okay. So it's about you learning to listen your best and hear God the way God wants to speak to you. So let's see what happens. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I'm gonna back away. Well, you saw it here and you heard it here. So that was so much fun. And I want you, if you want, and if mom and dad let you, to try this at home and to think about the ways that God speaks to you. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, let's come to our close. It was a great time we were spent together. Let's say our Lord's Prayer. Is everybody ready? Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, go in peace and be sweet this week. I love you. Bye-bye.